So today I'm collecting an eDNA sample. We are assessing the fish community here, and I'm using the Jonah Water Aquatic Environmental eDNA Kit. So this is my filter. I'm gonna be um, extracting water from the creek, attaching this, and then running water over the filter. And the filter will capture any DNA particles present in the water. And this is what we're gonna turn into the lab and get our results back later on. It's important to collect your water sample upstream of where you are in the water so that any contamination that might be on your waders or your boots doesn't end up in your sample. Usually you fill it up to the 60 milliliter mark and then you just record the volume of water um, that has been sampled. You have very turbid water. Sometimes you can only get one syringe through because your filter gets clogged up almost immediately. But this water is pretty clear. You can see the filter starting to change color a little bit. So that's all of the, the DNA particles and other just suspended sediments that may be in the water. Right now I'm just passing air through the filter. You want to dry your sample out as much as you can before you put the, the preservative into it. Otherwise, the eDNA in your sample will break down faster. Seal our filter. Good to go.